Okay, here we're going to graph y equals 5 times tangent of 1 third x. We'll pick out vertical asymptotes and zeros. This is going to look like the graph of tangent x, except for it's been stretched vertically by a factor of 5. And the period has changed. So the period, to get the period, uh, be careful. For sine and cosine, we use 2 pi, but tangent has a period of pi. So we take pi and divide it by the absolute value of the b value, which in this case is 1 third. And that's going to give us a value of 3 pi. Okay, so for tangent, if you take the period and divide it by 2, so that'll be, well, 3 pi over 2. If you move over that many units from the y-axis to the right and to the left, those will be your first vertical asymptotes. So here's going to be the line x equals 3 pi over 2. This will be the vertical asymptote x equals negative 3 pi over 2. And we can fill in one point if we want to at least. So normally at pi over 4 it goes through 1. But now at pi over 4 it's going to go through 5. But it still has that same general shape to it. So again, we said the period in this case is equal to 3 pi. So again, certainly not to scale, right? Here's pi over 4, and my vertical asymptote's already over here at 3 pi over 2. So, um, but if we move over another 3 pi units, so we'll put it right there, there's 3 pi. 3 pi over 2 plus 3 pi. Well, that'll be 6 pi over 2. Our next vertical asymptote, our next positive vertical asymptote, is going to occur at x equals 9 pi over 2. And again, it's got that same, that same shape to it. So there's two, uh, two pieces of the graph. The zeros are going to occur. The first one occurs at 0, and then it's at multiples of 3 pi. So those will occur at uh, the value 3 pi n, where n is an integer. And the asymptotes, the vertical asymptotes, the vertical asymptotes are going to occur at x equals 3 pi over 2. And again, we're adding uh, 3 pi to get to the next one. So multiples of 3 pi, again, where n is an integer.